Hi everybody, it's Rhoda. I got asked a question of how do I go into a meditative prayer? Well, what I usually tell people is I start out with the Lord's Prayer. I close my eyes and I start saying, you know, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And I don't say amen. I continue on. I say that from the heart. And I will continue on from there. Imagine God's light coming into my head. And I focus on one thing, and that's the light of God. That's it. Um, and if there's a special task that I'm needing to do, like um, that I need to focus on a certain person, I will focus only on that person. And in the process of that, in the process of that I will ask God, please show me the truth. Of what you need me to see here to help this person in your name to give you the glory and that's what I say because it's him that shows me and I, I go I find a quiet place close my eyes and I just focus on that light of God I focus on the light coming into me going through every cell of my body I feel when I take a deep breath in, I imagine breathing in that light, just bring, breathing in his love, you know, breathing it in. And as I'm blowing out, I'm releasing everything that I have built up that day, all that negative crap, all that stuff of people that had annoyed, annoyed me that have I have got angered with I got interrupted <laughs> that's usual because I video on my phone <laughs> but when I when I imagine that and I'm breathing out I imagine pushing out any thing that I have built up that day or that week, or whatever. Anything that had annoyed me to the point that it had angered me, upset me, or <clears throat> made me not function properly. You know, you're not doing good. <laughs> I push that out. And I ask God to forgive that person. Forgive me for being angered with that person. Even if it was a cashier, you know, with a snide remark, you know. Not even, she didn't even say, have a nice day, or didn't even smile, and I got agitated with that. Well, she could have been having a really bad day. So I asked God, forgive me for those feelings, and I pray, be with her. I pray that you forgive her for her actions. I even do that, because I need to forgive those, and I truly mean it truly mean it you have to mean it that's when I go into focusing on the task at hand um, <clears throat> one thing one object and if you're just wanting to clear your mind and not think of anything just focus on the light of God just going through you just don't think of anything else nothing or focus on the candlelight flame. Just the flame, nothing else. <clears throat> I will focus on a person. Sometimes, sometimes I will focus just on the noises around me and don't think. It's it's hard not to think like what was that? You know, you catch yourself thinking. But in a meditative prayer, most of the time I'm praying to see what I need to do to help the person that I am help trying to help in a prayer state. I'm praying for that individual 
and asking God, show me what I need to do to help. How do I need to pray for this person? And he will very clearly tell me what I need to pray for. It will just come to me. I will get quick pictures in my head of what I need to pray for. You know, sometimes it's, I'll see money and it's usually financing, finance, pray for their finance, or I'll see a sadness, you know, or a broken heart, pray for their heart. Um, I'll see a dark spot in their body somewhere, you know, it's like a black spot. And I know that that's an illness in that spot of their body that I need to pray for. I don't know what kind of illness it is. I just know that I need to pray, God, please heal this part of their body. Heal whatever is ailing them. Whatever I see there that you're showing me, I pray that you cast that out of them. Cast it out and heal them. <clears throat> That's my meditative prayer. That's what I do. I go into that. Now, if it's to calm my mind to to keep it from, you know, because sometimes when you close your eyes, some pot, some people have that, what I call this, you know, the, the swirling. Your head is just spinning. You get the spinning effect. You've got all this, oh, I need to do this and this and this. Oh, this needs to be done and this needs to be done. I got to do this tomorrow, next week. It's just constantly going. You can't rest because your mind is spinning. That's when you need to just stop. You need to focus on one thing. Breathe. That's when you say, Lord Jesus, be with me. Calm my mind. And just focus on his love. Focus on how he makes you feel. Give everything that is swirl, that's spinning around in your head. Give it to Jesus. Everything that pops in my mind, I give this to you. The next thing, I give this to you. And you'll slowly see in your head, the swirling, so it'll it'll start easing. Everything that pops in your mind, give it to Jesus. And it eventually, it'll calm down. And truly give it to him. Because he's got it. He's got you. That's my meditative way of doing things. <clears throat> and then, once that spinning effect is gone... Then I'm able to go into a calm state and actually just hear what is around me without my mind just being in chaos. I can hear the birds. I can hear my own breathing. Sometimes I can even hear my heart, you know. It's hard to get to that space where your mind isn't spinning with all the stuff that you have to get done. Or in my case, listening to all those voices of people coming at me. <laughs> when I finally put my boundaries up, they leave me alone. And I can only do that with Jesus. That's the only way I found it. A lot of people do it differently, as I always say. If you watch any of my other videos on the spiritual part of me, a lot of people do it different. But this is the way I do it. I hope that helps somebody. And I happen to ramble a lot. I do, <laughs> I do know that. <clears throat> and if it's confused you in any way, just let me know, you know. Um, but it's just basically trying to find that place, focusing on that one thing, that one object. And in prayer, sometimes it takes, um, discipline to get to that self-discipline, but you'll get there until next time. I pray this helps you. God bless.